Hi and welcome to DaVinci Nation. I stumbled upon a problem with multicam clip editing and I've discussed it already with some people underneath a similar, similar video on YouTube here. Um, I just wanted to share my two cents and my workaround for this, so let's get started. Um, I filmed, yeah, it's it's an online advertising thing for an email campaign. It is, uh, is one single clip basically, but we split it up in different clips along the way and we have two camera angles and I've, if I were to just put everything here it's already synced I am I've marked the clips here um, already so and if I were to just create a new multicam clip and select the sound because we hadn't any input sync or output sync or time code sync so that leaves us with only matching sound and the frame rate was 30 I guess and the angle sync is sound the metadata comes from the metadata panel down right there and I've edited it already. I show you in a second how to do that. And I let him detect clips from the same camera. And if I just let him create this, it will give me, yeah, I already know what it gives me. It first off, it doesn't work. And second, it creates this multicam clip sequence where it's not even synchronized at all. So this wasn't an option for me and didn't work out regardless what I did to it. So let me just remove this multicam clip. Um, for the metadata editing, you can just go right in here and you can select multiple clips, edit down here, and you have to save it. For example, if I make this an AB, you have to save it and all the clips have now the new metadata. So you should do that um, on bigger shoots to keep track of everything and you can search for it later on. But here's the workaround. I will create a new timeline using the selected clips and just go for it and we open the timeline. So what we now have is all the clips in one straight line with the same audio. Remember I already synced it to the one audio source I had so the clips themselves are already synced. But what we have to do now is to put the second perspective over the first perspective and go on, oops, my marker wasn't set right. And have to go on to sync them manually to each other. So, for example, I will just push this a little bit forward. That's too far. I just want it. This sounds about right. And I will delink the top and the bottom clip so that these two aren't linked together. And I will delete the bottom half because it's the same audio we already got here. What we do now is to just link all of the clips in this one block. And you basically had to do this to every single clip pair here. Um, let me just remove those because we already have them here. And you will end up with something like this here. So that's basically your multicam editing. And you will ask now, why should I do this this way? Bear with me. It has some very, very, very good features. Um, first of all, I will create a compound clip for this. So this is the compound clip one. And now the compound clip is my multicam timeline, if you want so. So if I open this here, I can firstly do something very specific for the color page because we have everything organized into rows. We have the first perspective and video track number two and the main perspective and video track number one. So what I can do is this able track one, go to the color page. And what it gives me now is only the, uh, the clips from the second perspective. And I can now assign them into groups. This one is already assigned into a group. Um, I will reassign it. Don't worry, I have made these grades horrible to let you see anything that you can see this actually works for all the clips. Let me just uh, reset it. I didn't reset it, I just turned it off. But basically you can uh, repeat the step for the second half and just go in there to the color page and assign them to the same group, make sure you are editing right here um, in, a, in a, give me a second. Oh, those aren't assigned yet. See, I missed some. Now they should be assigned to a group and what does this lets me do is to edit in group pre-clip. Because if you were to um, change anything in the group pre-clip, pre it will affect all of the members of the group but if you were to just edit in a clip, um, the settings only affect one single clip, as you can see here. So, but we don't want to see this horrible grade. Now, back to the multicam editing. 
um, what this setup in particular lets me do is to just push around with the magnet selected or pushing N on your keyboard, it lets me push around all those blocks. And what this does is, depending on where you place those blocks, it gives you another perspective. But what you will have to do is to disable track number three and tr track number one. So we end up with something like an electrical switch. Um, if we push it up, the main perspective comes in. You can see it here in the preview. Or if you push it down, the closer perspective comes into, into our viewer here. Let's make this fit. So basically, if you have any part in, in the whole thing, like this one, and I want to switch to the main perspective for this part here, I just push it up. And that's it. That's basically my multicam editing feature in DaVinci if you have to do it by hand. Um, going back to the timeline 4, I have this compound clip. You can already see these, those horrible grades assigned there, but it gets the point across, I guess. Um, this works beautifully, as you can see, and you can always go back into that um, fake multicam clip and change it around. And the beauty of that is that you can edit normally with this whole clip and add in intros, uh, overlays, etc and even go to the Fairlight page and edit the whole audio in one clip. And you don't have all those scattered. I can show you how this would look like if you've done it like this and you would go to Fairlight. You have all those little uh, scattered little audio bits that you have to edit. So by doing it in a main timeline with a compound clip, you have all the um, maintainability if you, if you want so, because you can always go back and change them up like you want and push those parts out where you want the main perspective and drag those parts down where you want the closer perspective. So that's the whole thing. I hope you learned something today. Um, this is a very old way of doing this because uh, it should be covered by the new multicam feature, but it doesn't work so well with all the little parts um, for non-synchronized, non-time called audio tracks. I know we have the technology, we could improve our, our recording there, and that is something that I will personally do in the future to don't have these issues at all. But if you need a workaround, this is the one. I hope you learned something today. Um, if so, leave something in the comments about it. And maybe you have further questions, I can answer them in the comments down below. And you can help each other on this topic. And maybe we can even get Blackmagic to look on, yeah, on this very specific issue. Maybe they fix it in the future. So. Without further ado, I will say goodbye. Thank you for watching. This is Pixel Liebstahl.